Hi, how we doing? My name is Brian Colgate. I'm the founder of Santa Barbara Fish Market. I'm gonna hang out with you guys and talk to you about lingcod and filet lingcod. And this is a H and G lingcod, headed and gutted lingcod. If we're gonna be working with the skin, um, it's essential to take the scales off. Any fish is delicate, and so how you're holding your tool that you're using, how you're pushing on it, you don't want to fight it, you want to work with it. Now we're all cleaned off, scales are all good. Sharp knives are essential. And so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be following this filet along this bone structure. I really like my first cut to be on the tail, and then I like to just work it in from the back of the tail. I'm letting the knife cut the fish. The skin's gonna be the most difficult spot to get through. And the other thing I'll remind us is like, you can relax. There we go, I just did my first cut, and as you can see, it's just, just barely in there. My arm is kind of almost relaxed, and we wanna be getting this knife blade right along those bones. And if I'm using too much force, I'm gonna end up cutting through those bones and getting over onto the other side of the, the other filet. And we're gonna work it all the way in to the spine. And the spine is circular, so you're gonna have a ridge where that spine is. And so that ridge is actually gonna be the place that my knife is gonna stop. You're actually hearing that spine there. So then our next cut is gonna be on the shoulder of the fish. We're coming in at a 45. Now, depending if you want to use the collar, I love collars, I love barbecuing them. You can actually leave, I'm going to leave this collar with some, some belly on it, and so you'll actually get more meat on that collar. It can be really nice to uh, actually just cut the fin off. And so now, if I'm going to be put it in the oven, barbecuing it, I don't have to cook through all that fin. So now our next, our next journey is going to be going from that spine over the top. So you can really visualize it here. So here I'm at the bone, right? My knife's not going anywhere. And then I'm gonna go up to that 30 degree angle and I'm gonna start working up. And now we can kind of see, there we are, we've got it. We're up above it. So I'm coming in, getting those pin bones. Once I come over and I got the pin bones, I'm going soft again, really soft, follow the bones. You'll find yourself sometimes when you're flaying fish, you'll be in this like contorted weird, and you're like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Let's work with it and let it find the spot that's the most comfortable for us. Traditionally, when you'll see fillets, you'll take that the belly liner will come off, but what I've learned is this is actually the fish bacon. If you want to go boneless, we can, what's called a V-cut, and I'm just going real gentle. And so now I'm gonna portion it up and get it ready. And so for barbecue, and I like these thicker sections in here, those are my barbecue portions. And then I would say of this belly piece, do a pan fry. I would probably take all this belly liner off, and I would not throw this away. I would actually do a separate fry with this, experience some of that bacon. If we're gonna do like a breaded, I would just actually take the skin off. As we're you know, seeing what this, how this filet looks, I mean, it looks actually pretty similar to even like halibut with its thickness and how the flakes are. Halibut is so mild, yet lingcod has that mildness, the flakiness, yet it has a little more, I don't, I'd say like a little sweetness to it. So I highly recommend if you're at the fish market, you're seeing the lingcod, you're like, ah, I normally do halibut, give it a try. Mm -hmm.